Okay, ready? Yep. Go. What? That was me, attempting to fight with only one heart for the first time. Which made me wonder, is it even possible to win a duel on one heart? You see, after I stole his polar bear a month ago, this player, Woogie, has been hunting me non-stop. Pull, 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 Each pull. time I escape him, he somehow tracks me down. I will chase you down as far as I can, as far as I will, if that means I can get any sort of revenge. So, I challenged him to a duel knowing that it was the only way out. If I won, he'd leave me be, and if I lost, I'd be banned off the server. As I tunneled deep into the nether, it began to set in how difficult this duel would actually be. Not only did I need to gather everything in just under a week, but there was also a big issue. I had no idea how I'd actually beat Woogie. A week ago, I brought myself down to one heart and promised to stay that way until I got banned off, which meant if I ran in with my sword, he'd hit me once and I'd be dead. Or if I tried to trap him, there was a high likelihood that I would get caught in the crossfire. I needed to think outside of the box, so I began experimenting with some of the most obscure fighting mechanics in the game. Initially, I believed that igniting TNT minecarts with flaming arrows would be enough to beat Woogie. They were strong, but remember, I'm on one heart. Even if I was winning my practice games, each time I got down to 9 hearts, I would be dead on the actual server. So I began trying spam techniques with explosive fireworks and slowness arrows in an attempt to break my opponent's armor, but it all failed, and by the end of the night I not only come up empty handed, but now had one less day to prepare. Genuinely dude, like if the next 6 days go like how today went, I'm actually gonna get banned off. Oh yeah, true. So I had no other choice but to spend my next day gathering things that I knew I needed, like netherite armor and golden apples, but all while doing so, I could only ask myself the same question. Was it even possible to beat Woogie? I soon found myself right back at the drawing board, testing out kits that I never would have touched if it weren't for being on one heart. And after hours of failing, I eventually stumbled upon a method that could potentially work. These are arrows that apply slowness 4 for 2 seconds upon contact with your target, and when coupled with an enchantment called Punch 2, it essentially becomes impossible for your opponent to get near you. This meant I could bow Woogie until his armor broke, and then finish him off from there. However, I quickly realized that this fighting style required three things. One, I needed to be incredibly accurate with my bow shots. Since the only way I could win was by breaking Woogie's armor, I needed to hit as many arrows as fast as possible. Two, there was no room for error. All it took were a couple of sword hits to kill me, and therefore I couldn't mess up. And three, I needed to somehow convince Woogie that he didn't need the two things that countered my playstyle, shields and experience bottles. You see, Woogie knew I was preparing something, but he didn't know what that was, so I began practicing with TNT minecarts on public servers in an attempt to make him think that that was my plan. In the meantime, I spent hours secretly at night with my friend Spoke on his private server practicing with bows and slowness arrows. Uh -oh. You played that very well. Still, I was losing half of the time, and I was presented with a major issue. At the beginning of the server, I created a team with Spoke called the No Pants People Party, where wearing pants is prohibited. The issue is that if I didn't wear leggings during this duel, I'd essentially have zero chance of winning. Sure, I could throw on some leggings, but that meant I would get kicked from my own team. Luckily, I had a solution. A few months before, Spoke and I had distributed two one-of-a-kind items on the server called Pants Passes. If you carried one on you, you were still considered part of the No Pants People Party, even if you wore pants. But I began to wonder if these items still existed, and if they did, would the players who had them be willing to hand one over to me? Without any other options, I decided to meet with one of the two players who supposedly was carrying a pants pass. What's up? Basically, I'm the most vulnerable that I've ever been and mm -hmm. I know this is gonna sound very surprising to you. You have an item that I really want. Okay, and what's that? That I need. It's a piece of wool. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it says on that piece of wool? Do you know I what believe the... it says the no pants pass. So mm -hmm. what I was basically gonna ask you was if you would be okay if I borrowed your pants pass well, number one, that's against the rules, and I, I feel like it could just be another test, so... no. 
How come? Do you think I have the pants pass right now? I believe you do. Okay. Do you not? Well, nice doing business with you, Pear. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. If you have the real pants pass, throw it out on the ground. Rackrap! <laughs> I'll oh, see please. you around, Paris. This is my only way of surviving. Um, Clown clown might be able to give you his. Clearly, Wreck didn't have what I was looking for, which meant there was only one other person I could ask. However, they wouldn't be on until the day of the fight. So in the meantime, I gathered some of the remaining materials while also trying to trick Woogie into thinking that I was still planning on using TNT minecarts. The distractions seemed to have paid off because the next day, Woogie and I signed a contract that said no replenishing armor. This includes XP bottles, extra gear, no help from teammates, no restocking mid-fight, no shields, most importantly, no running. Breaking one of these rules is punishable by ban. Time absolutely flew by though, and soon it was the day of the fight, and I was still missing the pants pass. I now had my last chance to get a hold of one, so, I reached out to the only server member left that I knew could potentially have it. Hello, Pear. Essentially, I'm on one heart. And at 7pm, I am fighting Woogie. I asked Rekrap, and he respectfully declined. But, how okay would you be if I borrowed your pants pass for three hours? Here's the thing, Parrot. Yeah. There's a reason Rekrap declined. Why? And it's because... These, the linked brothers. Uh huh. It's just one linked brother now. What? Yeah, Rekrap and I have been training in secret. I, I would like to split my no pants pants, making it non-functional as half and only functional when the two halves come together, and give my other half to Rekrap. And on its own, it's useless. Good luck, Barrett. I hope, I hope you prepared for this fight. And it was clear, if I decided to wear leggings, it meant that I would have to leave my team. Without much time left, I had to make a split second decision. Get banned off the server, or leave the team that I'd been a part of since day one. Do you think I could win without pants? Don't try. I don't think I need them. No, nope. yes you do! Dude, it's a one tap. <laughs> it's oh three my hearts gosh. And one, It's three hearts in one hit. Are you sure? Yes, yes. If he, he's gonna pop strength two and one tap you. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm about to make a portal up here just so I'm, I can dip out of here before Wookie goes after me after he kills you, bro. Will he kill me though? Yes, he will. It's a one tap parrot. Okay, you're right. It's just a sacrifice. And as Wookie showed up, I knew that three months of friendship, teamwork, and trust had just gone down the drain. Sure, maybe Spoke would still stand by my side, but the one team that I'd promised never to leave, I had left. The one team that consisted of not just us, but thousands of other people, well, I'd let those people down. And the only team that I'd had fun on this season, I was no longer a part of. However, I didn't just leave my team for nothing. I did it so that I could survive and beat Woogie. If I lost now, I would have truly lost everything. So, as we prepared to begin the duel, I began focusing on what I was about to attempt to pull off. Seven days before, I had deemed this impossible. I wasn't so sure if I could win now, but I was too far in to give up. When the beacon shoots up a signal, the fight begins. <coughs> are Woogie, are you ready? Yes, sir. Aaron, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, begin. Bro, what type of arrows are you using? Oh, you got slowness arrows. Oh, those hurt, bro. Those hurt. Come on. I need blocks, bro. That's annoying. Oh, he plays two. He's not even using cards. He's just... Oh, well, I got no plan here. You didn't heal. You're 
only do that a couple more times now, bro. Yeah, just keep bowing them, bro. You got this. This is free. Uh oh. Get up. Nice. Oh my gosh, dude. I got down to half right. there. I know his armor is so low, dude. Oh! Is that it? Helmet. That. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> You got this. You got this. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can't hit oh, shot. Oh, boots. Boots. Oh, ah, ah, come on. Come on. It's the totem sound. It's the totem sound. Please. Please. Oh, man. Leggings. Let's do this, man. One heart. Come on. One heart. Come on. Off him again? I think I just finish him off, bro. Finish him off. Finish this. Well, um. that was a uh, oh. My god. When I won the duel, I stole one of Wookiee's hearts, therefore putting me on two. I sacrificed so much to get that heart, but I decided that there was no reason for me to keep it. And of course, I parted ways with the No Pants People party that same day. Was I sad? Yes. But I was glad that it happened. The past week had taught me something important. It wasn't the hearts that mattered. Neither was it my gear or the power I held on the server. It was the memories I made, because unlike everything else, they couldn't be stolen. Chat, what, what should we, we be called? We need, we need a cool name. The No Pants Party! And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Not only does it help me, but if you don't subscribe, you may honestly never see me again. So, consider it, and I'll see you in the next one.